Hi yogis, today we're going to do a 40 minute advanced yoga flow. I hope you enjoy it. Come with a playful attitude to try some new advanced postures. Thanks for coming, let's get started. Okay, let's get on our mat. Coming to a seated position. It can be any comfortable seat for you. And close the eyes. I always like to start with a seated meditation just to ground us unite us in our practice just by breathing together and closing the eyes for this couple of minutes here. <sighs> just make sure your spine is long, your heart is forward, you have a beautiful posture, lots of space for deep beautiful breaths. <sighs> just start to connect to your body, mind and breath. Noticing if your mind starts to wander anywhere, just bring it back to the breath. It's also important in the practice as well when we go into our postures. You have to stay focused and determined in your posture, connecting it to the breath instead of wandering with the mind elsewhere and maybe losing your balance or not really honing in onto the present moment. So doing this seated meditation at the beginning of the practice, I feel like it really helps us tune into that energy of really dedicating this time to our body, our breath, in the present moment. <sighs> Just for a minute here, a minute more, feeling the movement of your breath in your body. Slowly start to open your eyes. And I'd like to teach you an advanced breathing technique right now called Kapalabhati. It translates to shining forehead breathing technique. It just energizes the body and the fire within, allowing us to activate that power and help us reach into this advanced practice. So the hands will stay on the knees. They can be facing up or on the knees if, or facing down if that's more comfortable. Try facing up. Let's bring our right hand to our belly for a moment and just cough. And you feel the movement of your belly just pressing in for a moment. So you really want to feel that in this breath work without the cough. It will be with an active exhale and a passive inhale. So it'll be something like... So you can try for a moment with your hand on your belly. Pushing through the nose, active exhale, and at that active exhale, the belly comes inward like it felt in the cough. The inhale is passive and the belly releases. So it will be something like this. So just try, it's okay if it doesn't really make sense, you can watch, you can just continue your seated meditation, or you can join me in this Kapalabhati practice We'll do a round of 20, take a long exhale break, and then do another round of 20, long exhale break. So hands to the knees, palms facing up. Close the eyes, take a deep inhale through the nose, and begin. Long exhale, inhale deeply, take a moment to rest before we continue again in the second round. You can also do this keeping the hand on the belly or both hands if it helps you activate the breathing technique more correctly. 
Deep inhale through the nose. Exhale, let's go. Release completely, exhale. Inhale back to center. Beautiful. So that was a little bit of a taster of Kapalabhati. You can do it any morning where you just want to energize the body, glow from within. And let's get started to our warm up. We'll turn onto a tabletop, hands beneath the shoulders, knees beneath the waist. Start circling on the wrists, warming up those wrist joints. Make sure the fingers are really spread apart, grabbing the ground, really activating the whole hand here. Connecting the movement to your breath. Making big circles here, putting a lot of weight in the wrists when you come forward and releasing as you move back. Change direction. Back to center, we'll move forward and back now. As far forward as you can, as far back as you can. Almost coming into a child pose for a moment, opening the shoulder region, and forward and back. Moving at your own pace. Come back to our tabletop and move the knees a little bit further back. Coming into a wider tabletop here, we're gonna come to a low lunge, lifting the right knee and placing it in between the hands. We wanted to move the knees back a little bit to allow us to get into this nice deep angle here. So let's just sit in this low lunge for five deep breaths. Really lowering down with the hips allowing them to release even deeper with every exhale. Move your weight back to your left leg and flex and straighten the right leg, coming into a half split. Inhale, look forward, long spine. You can stay here with this nice long back, or you can choose to go deeper, lowering the chest to thigh, but still try to maintain this straight back here. Let's add a little bit of movement. Walking the hands forward to your low lunge. Inhale, look up. Walking the fingertips backwards. Exhale, half splits. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. One more. Inhale. Exhale. Moving the hands forward. Swing the right leg back to your elongated tabletop, and let's bring the left leg forward now into that low lunge. Hands, feet between the hands. Foot. Five deep breaths here in this low lunge position. I really want you to feel how the hips feel on the first breath and how they feel on the last breath. Really releasing the lower down with the hips as much as possible, releasing there. And we're walking the hands slowly back, leaning onto our right leg now, flexing and straightening in the left leg. Inhale, look forward, long straight back. Exhale, you can stay up here or slowly bring the chest to thigh, keeping the back straight. No need to drop the head, we're not looking for a curve in the spine here, so stay looking forward, maybe a little bit beyond your left foot. 
Breathing deeply every exhale, moving the chest a little bit closer to that thigh. Let's add a little bit of movement here. Walking the fingers forward. Inhale, low lunge, look up. Walking the fingers back. Exhale, half splits. Inhale. Exhale, stay high on your fingertips. Activating the fingers as well now. No weight in the wrist. Hmm. One more. Hmm. Walk the fingers forward, coming back to your tabletop. Bringing the knees back under the hips. Tucking the toes underneath and lifting up into a down dog. Hips up to the sky and backwards, moving the weight from your hands to your feet. In our first downward dog, let's add some movement, walking out the knees, really warming up the legs and the hamstrings for our practice today. Shaking out the hips, wagging your tail, moving the weight forward and back from the hands and the feet. This is a really great thing to try. It'll help you find that movement of moving the weight towards your feet in a static downward dog. So if that's hard for you, just moving the weight forward and back can help you get there. And we'll walk the feet forward to the top of the mat. Inhale, lift up slowly. Exhale, hands to heart center, namaste. Beautiful. We're gonna do three rounds of sun salutations just to warm up the body, warm up the muscles a little more, and then we'll go into those advanced postures. So big toe to big toe. Inhale, the hands come up. Look towards your fingertips. Exhale, forward fold, head to knees. Inhale, halfway lift, long straight spine. Hold your breath, drop your hands to the ground, walk back to plank. Exhale, chaturanga, elbows stay close to the body. Make sure you're leaning the body forward before you go down. Inhale, up dog. Exhale, down dog. Three deep breaths here. Look forward, walk, step, or hop. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, forward fold, head to knees. Inhale, lift up all the way, upward hand posture, look towards your fingertips. Exhale, rest, hands to heart center. Inhale, reach up. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Hold the breath, drop the hands to the ground, walk back to plank. Lean forward, exhale, chaturanga, keep the elbows close to the body. Inhale, up dog. Exhale, down dog. Again, three deep breaths in your static down dog. One. Two. Three. Look forward, walk, step, or hop. Inhale, halfway lift, long spine. Exhale, forward fold, head to knees. Inhale, lift up. Exhale, hands to heart center. Last round. Inhale, hands up. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Hold the breath, walk back to plank. Exhale, chaturanga. Inhale, up dog. Exhale, down dog. Three deep breaths. One, two, three. Look forward, walk, step, or hop. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, rise up. Exhale, hands to heart center. Beautiful. All right, here's where things get fun. Inhale, lift the left knee up to chest. Exhale, place the foot on your inner thigh in tree pose. Take a deep breath here. Inhale, the hands come up. Exhale, hands to heart center. Inhale, knee back to chest. Exhale, bring that left foot to your right 
hip for a half lotus. Inhale, hands come up. Exhale, left hand wraps around your back, binding here the hand to your big toe. You can try or you can just keep the hands up in the air. They don't have to bind. Or you can just bring the hand behind your back. Inhale, right hand up. Exhale, hand turn center. Inhale, the hands come up. Release the leg, knee back to chest. Exhale, coming into an eagle posture. Left leg binds over the right leg. Left hand first in front of you and right hand binds over the right, the left hand. Sitting in your eagle posture, inhale deeply. Exhale. Inhale, hands come back up. Release the leg. Exhale, lower down the body, coming into a warrior three. Straightening out that left leg towards the back, straightening the arms forward as much as possible. Inhale deeply, reach, reach, reach. Exhale, drop the hands to the ground, coming into a standing split. Lift that left leg up to the sky as much as possible. Inhale deeply here. Exhale, release the leg, coming into a forward fold. I'm gonna come into an advanced posture here. Open the legs, about hips distance, maybe a bit more. I'll do it facing the front if you need to see better. We're gonna bind around the right leg. What does that mean? You're gonna bring your chest as much as possible. You can bend the knees here too if you need to. And wrap your arms behind your back, binding around that right leg. It will look like this. <laughs> From here, we'll start to lean our weight onto our left leg and lift up Binding that right leg, coming into a standing bird of paradise pose. The leg can stay bent here, or for an extra challenge, you can try to straighten. Focus on that one point, helping you balance. Three deep breaths here, either with the bent leg, or the straight leg, or staying on the ground, trying to figure out that bind. Wherever you are, it's beautiful and it's perfect. <laughs> Let's slowly lower the right leg back down to the ground with control, releasing the bind. Exhale, forward fold. Place the hands on the ground, walk back to your plank. Inhale, exhale, chaturanga. Inhale, up dog. Exhale, down dog. From here, we're gonna lift the right leg up towards the sky, coming into a one-legged dog. Take three deep breaths here. Swing that right leg in between your hands and slide down into splits. If you can't do the splits, you'll come to wherever you get to. Even if that's a triangle pose, you don't have to slide down. You can come from your wide-legged dog straight into this pyramid and just work on this pyramid pose. Or you're sliding down into your splits, taking three deep breaths here. Place the hands in front of you. Slide the right leg back into your down dog. Look forward, walk, step, or hop. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, rising up. Upward hand posture, look towards your hands. Exhale, hands to heart center. So proud of you guys. Let's do the other side. So, inhaling, hands come up. Knee to chest, right knee to chest now. Exhale. Bringing that right foot to your inner thigh. Hands to heart center, tree pose. Inhale, hands slowly come up, maintaining your balance. Exhale, hands down, heart center. Inhale, hands come back up, release the leg forward, knee back to chest. 
Exhale, bring that right foot to your left hip crease, coming into a half lotus. Inhale, hands up. Exhale, binding the right hand behind your back, grabbing your right big toe with your right hand, or keeping it behind the back. You don't have to bind. Inhale, left hand up. Exhale, hand to heart center. Inhale, both hands up, release the leg, knee to chest. Exhale, eagle pose, binding that right leg over the left and binding the left hand over the right. Inhale deeply. Exhale, sit in your eagle pose. Inhale, unbind the hands, unbind the legs, reach up, knee to chest, hands up. Exhale, leaning forward into your warrior three. Inhale, push the hands and foot away from each other, finding length. Exhale, drop the hands down to the ground for standing splits. <laughs> Press into your hands, reach that right leg up towards the sky, inhale deeply. Exhale, forward fold. Coming into our bird of paradise on the other side. Widening the stance a bit, making sure there's room for you to go underneath and bind. So we're bringing the chest forward as much as possible. You can bend the legs if you need to. Binding the left hand underneath. Hands come together behind the back. Leaning towards the right leg now. Slowly coming up into your bird of paradise. Again, you can either keep the leg bent or try to straighten. Three breaths here, focusing on one point, helping you balance. And slowly bend the leg. Slowly bring the foot back down to the ground with control. Drop the hands, exhale, forward fold. Inhale, walk back to a plank. Exhale, chaturanga. Inhale, up dog. Exhale, down dog. Lifting the left leg into your one-legged dog for three breaths. And sliding it through the hands, either to your pyramid pose or to your splits. Yeah. Three deep breaths here in your splits or pyramid pose. Bringing the hands back to the ground. Sliding into your downward dog. <sighs> Look forward, walk, step, or hop. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, rise up. Exhale, hands to heart center. Beautiful. Inhale, the hands will come up. Drop the hips, coming into your chair pose. Exhale. Holding this chair pose for five deep breaths. Let's slowly come on to our tippy toes now, adding an extra challenge here in our chair pose. Pressing the legs against each other, finding your strength. Bring your hands to heart center, and slowly start to squat down, coming to a toe balance. Take five deep breaths here in your toe balance. And slowly lower the hands back down to the ground and drop the knees to the ground. Gonna come into a camel pose now, so stay high on those knees. Inhale, the hands will come up. Exhale, slowly reach back with the hands still up, still high, reaching, reaching, reaching. And then slowly drop the hands to your heels, coming into your camel pose. Make sure you're pushing the body weight forward and not leaning too much on your heels. As if there was a wall in front of your belly and you wanted to push your belly against that wall. 
Let's take 10 deep breaths here with this beautiful open heart and deep back bend posture. back up, reach up towards the sky, exhale, drop the hands to the ground, we're going to vinyasa here, walking back to a plank, inhale, exhale, chaturanga, inhale, up dog, exhale, down dog, and either walk, step, or hop to a seat. <sighs> Woo! Okay, we're going to do a fun, um, uh, arm balancing posture here. Again, you can try. Um, I find that this pose is really fun to try. It's not too challenging and it can be easy to actually find your balance in this because it's a more of a wide angle arm balance posture. So we'll bring the feet forward for a second and I want us to baby cradle that right leg just to really warm up that right hip. And what baby cradle means is you're just hugging that right calf muscle, shin area to your chest. Just rocking side to side. Making sure the baby's nice and quiet, you know. And from here, we'll bend that left leg almost coming into like a regular seated pose. And then we'll take that right leg and bring it over our shoulder as much as possible, over the right shoulder. That's why we did that hip baby cradle warm up to really get that movement. Pushing the leg over your shoulder. It's okay if it doesn't get over your shoulder as well. It can be on the top of your arm. It's just easier on the shoulder because then you can get a really nice good grip here and the leg will stay there. So wherever it is on your arm, make sure you're really pressing down and locking that leg over your arm. It shouldn't just be chilling there and then it can slide off. It's totally active and squeezing this area. So even before we lift off, our hands will be by our hips and just try to connect your feet here. Connecting the feet with the leg still, by, still over the right shoulder. So from here, we're gonna bind the legs again. Lean forward onto your fingertips and lift your body slightly. That's the next step. After that, you'll keep lifting and you'll start to straighten the legs to the right side. Coming into that eight angle pose. Again, if you fall, if it's complicated, you can always rebind and retry. There's no way to do it. It's just about trying and having fun. So keep going until you can hold it for three breaths or just keep trying and then we'll meet each other back in the center to do the other side. You really want to straighten those legs towards the right side and squeeze both legs against your right arm to find that beautiful balance and weight distribution. Let's meet back to center, change sides. First, we're gonna baby cradle that left leg. Bringing it as close as possible to your chest, really feeling this nice deep hip warm up before the pose. Really rocking here. Let's bring that right leg back to center and start to try to lift our left leg over our left shoulder and bind that, really lock it there. It's locked, it's not going anywhere. Once you have that nice lock, you bind the feet. Hands are by the hips in this kind of wide angle. It shouldn't be too narrow or too wide. About like one hand away from the hips. 
leaning forward onto your fingertips, extending the legs out towards the left side until both legs are squeezing on that left arm, and slowly leaning forward a little bit more, finding that eight angle pose. or playing around, all is welcome. Again, if you need to rebind, you can always do that. And coming back to center, releasing and let's meet on our backs. Woo. The legs will come up into the sky and we'll meet each other in a shoulder stand. Hands to lower back, legs straight up towards the sky. Make sure the head stays in the center, you don't have to look at the screen. If you can, you can walk the hands a little bit lower towards your ribs to find that nice, strong, straight body. Taking five deep breaths here. Let's lower the right leg over our head and keep the left leg straight. If you can, connect knee to forehead, to third eye. And if you have even more space here, you can start to drop the left leg back, almost coming into a shoulder stand splits variation. Bring the legs back to top. Switch legs, left leg comes overhead. Maybe connecting knee to third eye. And right leg will slowly move in the opposite direction, finding that shoulder stand splits. Back to center, inhale, straight line. Lower both legs back, coming into plow pose. And you wanna be on the top of your feet like in cobra or up dog. And press off of your toes, lift your hips up towards the sky, finding this nice long back here. It shouldn't all be collapsing down. It's still energized. You can drop the hands to the ground or keep them on the lower back. Bring the hands back to your lower back. Lift the legs up high and slowly lower down vertebrae by vertebrae to the ground until we meet back in that 90 degree seat, legs up to the sky. We'll lower down to 60 degrees. Breathing deeply, 50 degrees, 40 degrees, 30 degrees, 20, 10, five, and slowly hitting the ground. <sighs> Let's take both knees into the chest and give yourself a big hug for completing this fun, advanced practice together. Really squeezing the whole body towards the center. Holding opposite elbows, head to knees, giving yourself the biggest hug. Slowly lower down the head. Let's grab the outside of our feet, coming into happy baby. Just rocking side to side, giving yourself a little back massage, making sure the lower back stays on the ground. We did a lot of really deep, advanced hip opening postures. But let's just end with this beautiful, fun, happy baby hip opening posture. And release the legs and we'll meet in our Shavasana pose. Feel free to take any variations you'd like that are better for you, maybe with the knees bent or with the pillow under the knees. Whatever feels best for you, and just returning to your breath like we did at the beginning of our practice. 
Letting the body melt into the ground. Everything is relaxed from the toes to the head. All you feel is the movement of your belly rising and falling. breaths here in your Shavasana, really giving your body a small moment to heal, to rest, just to breathe and nothing else. Slowly turn onto the right side. You can use the right hand as a pillow and left hand on your heart. Just taking a couple more deep breaths here, giving our heart a little bit extra space. Feeling your heartbeat, the power of your heart. Keeping the eyes closed, let's meet each other in a comfortable seat. <sighs> Let your breath return to its normal breathing pattern. Feeling this beautiful posture of yours. <sighs> Bring your hands to heart center. Thank you for practicing with me today. Namaste. <sighs> hope you enjoyed it. Bye. I really enjoyed that practice. I hope you did too. If you like my content and classes, please like, subscribe, and leave a comment with any feedback or questions. Uh, thank you for coming. Namaste.